Hello, this is Bunting, and today we disrespect eardrums and dynamics alike by making some brutally heavy basses using some underrated vital effects. <laughs> As always, if you want instant access to all the base presets I've made here, plus this entire project file, those are posted on the Patreon, which is a great place to support me if you like me a whole bunch. Link in the description. Alright, so what is this secret sauce? First of all, no sauce is complete without a nice pasta base, so in Vital I'll grab this sine wave, and we can get some nice harmonics FMing it from this saw wave. We can get some higher harmonics by turning up this oscillator too. And then let's add some rhythmic movement with this LFO. We can reel this movement in even further by putting it on the level. And then for a thick sauce, let's get a thick LFO. It's pretty docile now, but once we get effects, we get spicy. The first spicy effect and my favorite is this chorus. By default, it's not very spicy, but if we freeze it, you hear it rings out based on these knobs here. So find a nice tone, you can mess with the feedback too. And once you're happy with it, glue it with the multiband compressor. I like the attack and release up, makes it louder and cleaner. Now because one ringy boy wasn't enough in the chorus, we can use this delay on seconds very fast to create another ring. And then for another set of ringy harmonics, we can use this flanger. Let's freeze him too. And then let's make it mono. And then we could tweak it around. And now to mix all our ingredients together, we destroy it with distortion but that's a little too spicy, okay, I'll admit it. But we can uh, add this LFO to these feedbacks so it'll stop ringing whenever this LFO is up. We could do this on all our feedbacks. And it's suddenly much cleaner and more palatable. Feel free to go back, mess with all these settings. And if you need that extra garnish, you can get another ring through some comb or flanger filtering here. But as you can see, all these ringy harmonics combined with the distortion just makes for an insanely fat bass. Now, if you want even more variation, just head to this voice tab again, and we can select some different shapes here. And we can even use the spectral morphing mode or the sync mode. And that's a lot of sounds. And when you're ready to throw down, right, just add your rhythm beat, okay? And then touch the pitch wheel. So yeah, pitch wheel goes crazy because all these effects are fixed. So having a different pitch and putting into them uh, gives you a different result. It's because it's not like the same thing. Ever. Whatever, bro. Okay. This is hard, but we need our members of the audience to lose their minds. So we need a siren bass like this layered. Just like that. And to make that, I just duplicated this. I'm going to open this little duplicate boy. And because I'm so lazy, I'm just going to say, all right, you're not moving anymore. And I'm just going to crank your FM. And hurt a lot of ears. Let's uh, EQ out the low end so it fits with our other bass better. And then let's turn off this. And All right, I definitely lost a few brain cells from that. But high FM equals scree. And if you want a variation like this right here then you could just have these kind of uh, sync modes switching is what I automated.
But Bunting, you say, how did you make this gnarly, like, growly voice? Okay, I'll tell you, calm the f So here I go, duplicating again, because I'm lazy. And all I'm gonna do is remove this from the level and FM. We'll, um, actually turn this up. And then we could just... Pitch bend him as we please. If you want some extra movement on him, feel free to grab this EQ. We can uh, have this nice sweeping through. Make for some subtle sweepy movement. And you can also take this filter on something like a uh, peak. There's a peak, P is peak. And sweep him through. And you can even have this low pass here. And you can automate them to sound like this. Like this. Like. So yeah, all these little filter movements being slammed into all these effects and distortion makes small things have big results, big changes. And you'll notice I only removed this LFO from this level and FM because we can keep some of this feedback movement here rather than completely getting rid of it. So yeah, we have our womps, we have our screes and sustains. All together they sound... And yes, all of these bases are just variations of what I just showed you. But of course, if you can't help but to get your grimy mitts on these base presets for yourself, they are posted on the Patreon. If you want to support me there, that'd be so awesome. And if you want to further extend your support, I have a website. There's plenty of free sample packs there, some paid ones as well. Check out my tunes, sign up for some one-on-one -on -one lessons if you need even heavier bases, I guess. I don't know. Click the social links, especially the Discord. The cool dudes hang out in here, I swear. And like, comment, like, subscribe. I don't...